Hello Cancer, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your February 2021 tarot reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be, as I said, for February 2021. So let's get straight into your reading, Cancer, and pull your overarching energy or message for the month. So what do we have, Angel Spirits Guides? What is the overarching message for Cancer, please? The overarching theme of the month. Overarching theme of the month, please. Thank you. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm just taking the one that's turned up right. We have judgment. Powerful card judgment. Okay. So I'm going to pull another card. What do we have for Cancer, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for our lovely Cancerians, February 2021, please. What does Cancer need to hear the most? Okay, so we have commitment. And I'll pull an angel card. Message for our lovely Cancerians, please. Message for Cancer, please. What does our Cancerians need to hear February 20? Okay, we have take action. I mean, it's interesting because judgment is a call to action. So there's definitely this action energy here. So I'm going to pull four cards, Cancer. The first card is first week, second card, second week, and so on. So it roughly works out at one card per week. So divine timing and all that. Uh, the, answers, the, the answers or messages may well overlap. And then we'll go deeper into the message by clarifying the cards. And remember, it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Message for Cancer, first card is out. We have the Knight of Swords. Gemini card of Gemini for me as a reader. King of Swords. Nine of Swords, all Swords energy at the moment. Okay, and we have the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so what do we have for Cancer, please? February 2021, can we clarify the cards on the table? Thank you. Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for Cancer. Thank you. The world. King of Swords is clarified with the Queen of Cups. Cancer, this is you. Nine of Swords is connected to the High Priestess, clarified. And we have the Nine of Pentacles with the Two of Swords. And then the Knight of Wands, bottom of this deck. <clears throat> So there's definitely a message here, Cancer. We have commitment and we have the judgment card <clears throat> and taking action. So judgment in your reading, something is going to happen here, can sometimes happen quite quickly. And it could be with this Knight of Swords because this Knight of Swords is very fast energy. It's the fastest of all the Knights. It's air energy. So it, something is going to happen which is requiring you to act. And it could be to do with making some decision towards a commitment. Um, I definitely get this energy and really the cards seem to be confirming it as well. Um, this is the call to action. It is... It's interesting because I definitely feel with... The world being here in judgment, something is about to end, but it's going to end victoriously. And it's as a result of some news or information or communication or conversation that's coming your way. That is going to allow you, I mean, the world card is about stepping through to a new phase of your life, having victoriously completed, successfully completed the last cycle. It is the completion of a major cycle. So it definitely feels in this energy. And remember, the nights are all about change. Change. So change is, is coming here, which is bringing 
the completion of a cycle and it, it feels like a major completion. <clears throat> now the world card is very good in terms of material success, it is worldly success or being ready to draw the line on something and step through to a new phase of your life. There could be somebody in your life here, Cancer, male or female energy, who is supporting, guiding you. I mean, it feels in this situation there's an opportunity to go to the next level. I could look on this in love. I could also look in this in money and career. Um, King of Swords could be a person in your life with the Queen of Cups. It feels, on one hand, it feels it could buy, be a relationship. But the King of Swords is also an energy of somebody who understands, who, who has a new vision, who has a new plan. And it comes after a powerful completion, being ready to step through to a new phase of your life. So maybe starting a new chapter with somebody new here. Or putting a new plan into action. A new plan may well unfold. Um, Queen of Cups is you, Cancer, somebody who is connected to who she is can sometimes be heart energy, uh, but I definitely feel in this energy, this is just you, male or female energy, and similar, the King of Swords is male or female energy. You might also be getting some kind of advice. Um, if, if it's not to do with matters of the heart, there may well be some advice here, guidance, professional advice generally, or somebody who is influential in bringing a successful completion to a situation and stepping through to a new phase of your life. So like I said, you could be agreeing this with somebody, taking a relationship to the next level, or there could be somebody who is influential in your life, helping bring change. It could be in terms of your money, career, financial situation, because we do have the nine of pentacles at the end of this reading. So King of Swords is generally about mental clarity. I'm going over here. This is where I'm going. This is what I want. And this is where I'm going. And it's Aquarius, which is new world energy, new vision energy. So I definitely feel some completion, a new perspective or new vision or new clarity in where you're going. That is for sure. Either with somebody in your life or somebody who is influential, maybe, in helping bring some success your way. Could be, I mean, you know, when I talk about professional help, for example, if it was money and career, it could be to do with um, a recruitment agent, you know, there could be, a, it's that kind of energy, somebody who is very much, you know, in their game, very good at what they do, giving you some positive communication advice to propel you towards this new vision. So it feels like there could be somebody of influence this month for you, could be an Aquarius. The Nine of Swords is an interesting one because the Nine of Swords Cancer is when, again, the Swords energy is all to do with the mind, our perspective, our thought patterns, how we perceive something. And in this situation, this is when the mind can distort the reality, blow things out of proportion. Yeah. So there's definitely this energy of something is completing. There's some good news. Um... There's definitely some kind of like readiness towards a new vision here and taking action towards a new vision here, Cancer, in whatever context that resonates for you. And then third week or so for some of you, it will be there is some stress, anxiety, some sleepless nights, something where you're getting so much in your own head that you can't get perspective, you know. Um, so just watch out for that. Because it really is just an illusion of the mind, the Nine of Swords. It's how when we focus on something negative, our minds can just spiral out of control. You know, thought patterns can be infinite if we allow them to be. And the negative thoughts can be infinite if we allow them to be. So that is just the energy of, 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 of regroup, connect to your soul, like your soul self with the High Priestess. Reconnect to your intuition and your instinct. Trust your instinct in a situation. That is what you're being told. Don't let your mind wander. Because it might not all be happening at once. It feels it kind of like steadily drawing out over the month. Because we have a feeling of being a bit stuck here. Lack of clarity. I can't see 
what's coming you know it feels in this situation the two of swords can sometimes be about um a decision can sometimes be about a difficult decision but it can also be about i i don't i'm stuck i don't really see the way forward in a situation i don't understand how to make a decision or choice because i don't have the full clarity in front of me and again the two of swords is trust your instinct in this situation you know again this high priestess energy your instinct your intuition is leading the way this month again queen of cups i am connected to who i am she is intuitive energy she's water on water which is highly intuitive and that's you so there's definitely an energy of you connect to who you are you connect to your own power by really following your instinct this month because it's almost like this meant this instinctive energy is giving you the clarity as well that you need um, to move forward in a situation. And again, this two of swords can feel a little bit like being stuck. I don't have perspective, lack of clarity, that kind of energy. I feel a bit stuck. I don't know how something's going to play out here. And it's towards something that is going to bring you greater reward, success. Um, I mean, the Nine of Pentacles is somebody who is standing in their own success, in their own right, um, very, very good in terms of money and career. It is a personal goal achievement for, for me as a reader, the Nine of Pentacles, because it's somebody who's worked so hard to bring material gain into their lives, and now they feel the benefit of it. They reap the rewards. But there's definitely this energy of, I don't know if this is going to happen. And also, obviously, it could well be that you're on your own and somebody might be coming into your life, offering you some level of commitment here. So it feels for some of you, it could be in terms of love, romance, relationships. For some of you, it could, you know, the, the decision to give up independence. For some of you, it could be in terms of money, career, finances. But either way, the message remains the same trust your instinct because there's definitely change on the cards so where there's been some news some information somebody may be of influence in your life this month it definitely feels that there has been some stress anxiety worry here as well this month maybe getting a little bit too much in your own head if things aren't moving as quickly as you want them to because again there's a feeling of being stuck but have no fear because the Knight of Wands is saying the opportunity is coming that is bringing change. So the Knight of Wands can be an offer, an opportunity. It's very good in terms of business, career, jobs, that kind of energy. The Knights bring change. The Knights bring change. Um, and again, if it's to do with love, romance, relationships, it is trusting your instinct in which way you go with regard to passion, desires, new connections maybe for some of you, because there could be somebody of influence who's bringing change this month in terms of your romantic situation. So definitely I love this energy of commitment because either way the cards are saying, it's a general reading, either way the cards are saying some commitment is being made to you. It feels like an offer, an opportunity is coming your way. Starts with some news or a conversation. But it's definitely allowing you to move successfully from one phase of your life to the next. So absolute changes on the cards and it feels positive change. But don't get too stressed, anxious, worried here. Too much in your own head. I don't know whether this is worry um, about change happening. You know, it's that kind of energy. Um, or it could well be just things aren't happening quickly enough for you, a feeling of being a little bit stuck. There's movement, movement, and then all of a sudden it feels, you know, a little bit stuck here. There's movement again coming. So definitely that the commitment is going to be made here. The message is take action. Keep taking action. Keep going forward. Don't let, be very careful of that mind, mental energy because I will show you what the cards are saying, you know, the Knight of Swords, the King of Swords. I mean, these energies have more power over the mind and that's where you see the progress. But you can see the Nine of Swords and the Two of Swords. There's more of an energy of being stuck in your own head with these energies towards the end of the month. So just watch out for that cancer because I definitely feel the change is coming. 
and you know that's what judgment is saying to you something is definitely coming to a close with multiple cards on the table and um, again this could be a major decision or choice that you need to make for yourself and it's a decision that may bring change but it feels like good change here i mean you're being told to take action again so two cards of take action sometimes judgment can be a card of let go so if there's something maybe from the past or past experience where you feel a little bit holding back here there's definitely this energy of this is requiring you to act make the decision trust your instinct and go with it okay so i'm going to pull the final card Final card for Cancer, please. But definitely there's a change coming. Two nights. And they're, po they're poised particularly well in the reading, at the beginning and end of your reading. So it feels like the change starts here and it culminates in the change here coming your way. And I feel that that's the commitment. Okay. Yeah, we have elephant grounding. Ground your energies and emotions deep into the earth. And I'm going to pull one more cancer for you. Oh, <laughs> I like this one. We have ladybird luck. All of your manifesting positive thoughts and visualizations have been heard. They have been heard because you're being guided in the right direction for you. So lovely energy there, cancer. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you, Cancer, and I will see you next time. Thank you.